Hey, Coach Annie here, <clears throat> Tiny Troop Soccer. I'm the director of coaching here, and I come on every Friday for an activity idea for you to do at home with your little ones. Um, so I always try to keep them simple, things that you might have just lying around your house that you can grab and just get started and get playing with your little ones. Um, so today, we are going to be using some balloons, some string, and so you'll just need some scissors and tape to get this set up and you're ready to go. So this could be set up at a lot of other, a lot of places. There's a lot of variations. Always wanna make sure that you, it's an activity that you can easily adapt so that your little ones are interested and excited about it. Um, so let's get going with this one. This is our balloon foot challenge. And so as you see, we've got some balloons here and um, I just blew them up and then put a string from my piano to my piano bench and have them all just hanging here um, on the string. So you can grab as many balloons as you want. I'm gonna come around this side. Um, and so then after you have them hanging up, all your little ones are gonna do are gonna be kicking these balloons and they're gonna have so much fun trying to kick these balloons all over the place, but they're gonna stay in put. They're not gonna go all over the house. You can do this a couple of different ways as well. You can put it a little bit higher and have them lay down on the ground and kick with their feet in the air. You can have them use their hands if you'd like. Um, you can have some kind of competition where maybe there's someone on the other side that they're just passing it back and forth to each other. Maybe they're only trying to hit one color of the balloon. You can add music to it and have them freeze when the music stops and then see all those balloons settle. And then once the music goes again, you can have them start kicking again. So it's a little, really simple, fun game that they're just trying to work on some hand-eye coordination, some hand-eye um, some eye foot coordination. Um, and I think it'd just be a super simple, fun game for you to try with your little ones at home. Um, there you go. That's it. This is a really easy activity. So just you grab some balloons and then I just have some string that I taped up from my piano to my piano bench. You can do this from counter to counter, um, you know, wherever in your house, as high as you want. You can even hang them from the ceiling. We've done the boxing one before. Um, so this one is with your feet, but you can do any variation. Balloons are always fun. I think they're so important to have on hand just because they're so fun and simple and can lead to so many great gross motor activities learning to hit and you know and kick and all those things and they can catch them and they move slower so that they're easier to grab you can pass them back and forth all sorts of fun things you can do with balloons so there's the activity today your balloon foot challenge i'd love to know how your little ones do and if they enjoy this one if you think this is one that they might love um, please let us know maybe share some pictures you can join us on the parents facebook group um, tiny troop soccer parents and we'd love to see some pictures or just things that you're doing at home or ideas that you you have or that you do that your little ones love to keep them entertained at home which I know can be a challenge um, all right before I log off today I just want to give a couple announcements first um, March sessions are starting up this Saturday we are so excited we have so many new locations opening up after winter break and we have lots of new kiddos coming into the field so we're so excited for you to join us on soccer island on Saturday tomorrow so if you have any questions please you can refer to our website or you can email us at info at tinytroopsoccer.com or you can message us on Facebook and we're happy to answer questions there. Um, all you need for your first day of sessions is you're gonna need a soccer ball. If you purchased one from us, your coach will have it for you ready to go before your session. Um, so you need a soccer ball, some closed toed shoes and a water bottle. That's all you need. If you'd like shin guards, you're welcome to bring those with your little ones, but they're not required. We do ask that you bring them for the older sessions the four and five year olds, but your little ones won't need them, but you're welcome to wear them if, if you'd like your little one too. Um, and we'll just have tons of fun. And um, just also keep in mind that this is new for all of your little ones. If this is their first time coming to soccer, it might they might be super excited and really you know talking about it a lot at home and then get to the field and be overwhelmed with all that's going on. And that's normal. Coaches expect that, they're trained for that. And so they will love to try to get, break the ice with your little one, get to know them, help them be comfortable, so if your little one is shy, not participating super great that first week, no worries. Let them just observe, talk through what they're seeing, and then come back again, try it again, and it gets better and better every session as your little one gets more and more comfortable with the coach and more and more comfortable with the with just soccer in general and all the new players and all the things so they know a little bit more what to expect each time they come. So don't give up after one session. We know it can be a challenge, but it can also, it can be so, it will be so fun and it gets better and better every session. Um, so if, like I said, if you have any questions, please message us on Facebook or email us at info at tinytroopsoccer.com and we'll be happy to answer your questions and we'll see you on Soccer Island. Bye.